welcome back to my channel. I, I haven't posted anything here in 10 months and last month clocked one year that we located in the UK. So it's not new that a lot of us that when we just come back, yes, I'm going to I'm, I'm sitting at the table <laughs> comfortably on this table. It's not news that many of us that want to come to the UK, we are not always informed. We just think that okay, we now have good lighting, thing, and now content will be content. Thing. Little did I know that there is more to it. You need to be prepared, and I wasn't prepared. When life started, when I came in here, I thought it was vacation. Yep, I thought it was a vacation. I was lodged in the in a, in a very expensive hotel, still living the life, still able to you know. But now, we have spent a year, things have happened. I've grown into the system. A lot of things have happened. I've taken my time to relax, rethink, reevaluate, and decide if I really want to stay in the UK or I want to leave. It's been one year of back to back learning. And the learning part has been the bills, guys. I've incurred so many bills in the UK. Let us stop thinking that everyone knows everything. We all don't know everything. So this video I'm making now, half of you might just know that, oh, you should know that you can incur bills if you do this. And some of you will be like, oh, thank you for this information. So I'm just going to share it with you while I'm making my children's hack lunch. What are the mistakes I made that has made me incur this number of papers as bills. Yeah, and I'm going to be telling you all the bills that I've incurred. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll tell you the mistakes that I made. I'm not going to be ashamed of it because anyone can fall victim of this. Anyone can make this mistake. And guys, this one, I would agree if you say it's a stupid mistake, but then it happened to me. It can happen to anybody. So while I'm making my children's pack lunch, I really want to share with you the bills that have been killed in one year in the UK how much these bills are and how I am intending to pay it just so you might avoid the mistake or you might just not be a victim like I was. One of the first bills that I incurred is my parking charge notice. So we recently got a car, not recently anyways, it's been almost 10 months we got a car and when we leave, before you leave there, you have to declare that you have a car. But when we moved in here, we didn't have a car. So we declared we didn't have a car, so we weren't given the car label, which is meant to be on your car. So after a few months we got the car, we moved in, we didn't know we're supposed to reach out to our landlord to let him know that this was something now we have a car what do we do we didn't know the reason why i was asking if we had a car we had no idea so it's not like we knew so we didn't see any reason why we should you know go to him and tell him that oh, we now have a car not knowing there was a reason why they were asking us if we had the car we wanted to move in so these tickets started coming in every two two days to our house so my husband we got the first ticket we got the second ticket so my husband was like let's do a proper research and ask well, where, where have we made a mistake what have we done wrong so that we can you know resolve it and we call that so i think we call the wrong people we just call them a number that says parking charge blah 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 we live in essex but we have a county which is torok so my husband called Tor torok and he told us okay this is what you pay for your parking and we paid for torok Unfortunately, Turk is just our council or our county. We actually are in Greece and whatever parking it is we wanted to pay for, it's not Turk's business. It's not Grace business. It is the front of our house business. My husband now went ahead and paid for Turk parking. They now said they would send us labor, so we're waiting for a bill, a big car, steep car. So after like two months, I just that the way the letters were coming was becoming very suspicious. I'm like, this letter is coming every two, two days. Babe, let's ask more questions. My husband's like, no now, we've already paid 20 pounds for parking charge. They are the ones that lay no, let them give us sticker. If you don't give us sticker, let them keep sending their letters. Little do you know that <laughs> you cannot dodge being in this country. Forget it. 
the highest they will do for you is put you on the payment plan. They can put you on the payment plan for one pound a month. But when you will not pay that money, you will pay it. We didn't knew. We didn't knew at all. That as the letters were coming in every two days, it was a problem. These letters were coming every two, two days with different reference number. I mean, why? It's the same car in front of the same house. Why can't you just say, why couldn't they just send one person to be in charge so that the money can be, you know, be under one reference and just remind of so or something? They were giving us different reference numbers. Guys, each of these things, I say, eh? What is going on here? Has different reference numbers. And they were coming every two days to take a picture of the car. And the moment they take a picture of the car, the next day we get a letter. And the letter will ask us to pay, guys, I don't know if you can see this. Hundred pounds. That's what each letter comes with. This is hundred. This is hundred. Guys, we received at least ten of these letters. Come on now. And the reference numbers are like different numbers. So when we call, we saw that the letter didn't we be taking it for granted. God, we we're like, ah, no, now we're the one waiting for label. Um, car sticker, they didn't give us car sticker. We're still forming. We did not even know that we were busy incurring bills of our life. Then we decided to just chill. Like, they will bring sticker, they don't bring sticker, it's their fault. Until we now got this strong one. When you get this one, you know that you are in trouble. But okay, this is okay, guys. But we now got this one debt recovery. The moment you get debt recovery letter, it's over. It's over. That means your case has they want to report your case to international parking community and this one they don't joke with money that means you have not been um you have not been serious with them you're not taking them seriously taking them for granted so they've got to report you that's why we knew that it's not for funny we started calling calling this number calling that number we did not see number to call there is no number we didn't call eventually we were able to now find a number we now call this number this number will just redirect it to your card Pay your money straight. We got at least 10 of these 100 pounds, guys. 10. Pay your money. That's what the number was just telling us. Give us the card details. Give us that. We do not have 1,000 pounds to drop in the name of this thing. What is going on here? We needed to speak with someone. We now called the owner of the house, the landlord. We reported it to him. The guy was like, oh, yes, yeah, since they've been taking pictures, we should have taken it seriously. Well, like, but we've paid. For a particular stuff, 20 pounds, and the guy's like, no, the car sticker is five pounds. Shoot him. Shoot me. Five what? Guys, the sticker was only five pounds, and right now we have been cured 1,500 plus. These people were coming every two days to take a picture of our car. And different people were coming with different reference number. So we're asking them, is this hundred pounds see that this one we owe? We're not saying no. Now we should go and gather all these papers together and count how many hundred of pounds we got. Calculate everything and ask how much we owe. How? Of our car here, we hold that money and we say we don't have. We have to lie to them, we are going through a lot. Our family is having problems financially. Help us because no, no, no problem. We're going to open 10 different accounts and we're going to charge 10 pounds on each 100 pounds every month. Every month, so just open the account and let us know. On which card you want to create the debit so they'll just be you know direct debiting direct debit debit the card directly every month until you finish paying 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 pounds on each that's crazy bill that's bill number one the heaviest of them all bill number two is speed speed is a very very serious offense here in the UK. They don't joke with it because lives can be lost if you don't follow the speed limits that is on the road. 
and every corner gets speed limits. And when I got the tickets, I just started driving. I was a new driver to the road. I didn't, I didn't do training. I didn't do road training. I didn't get learners. So I didn't get the um, an instructor when I just started driving. I just jumped on the road, read one or two things, and I felt I could do it. And I started doing it. And as of then, job I was doing has kept me on the road. So I couldn't wait to do the instructor thing or anything. I just went on the road. I tested it for like two days. I noticed that I'm good though. Everything is saying a main game. And I started driving. Little did I know that this is not Nigeria where you can just do anything that you like and get away with it. Whether they're there or they're not there, somebody's watching. So I got speed fine and I got it three times. In fact, I got it back to back. And the funny thing is, I know I did not speed before you judge me. It's not like I was speeding. No. But here in the UK, if the maximum speed on the road is saying 20 and you're on 22, you get tickets. Yes. Because that's what I don't know about other locations so me the tickets i got they gave me tickets they gave me this fine for speed speed limit of me exceeding the speed the, um, the road speed limit was 20 i was on 22 the second one the road speed limit was 30 i was on 32 the third one was 50 i was on 52 so it's not like i usually speed but i wasn't paying attention to the road limit signs there are always signs there and sometimes you just switch like you won't even know that the road sign has switched from 20 to 30 or switched from 30 to 50 or has dropped from 50 back to 20 so you wouldn't know so if you're not paying attention if you're not using weights you won't know so it was recently i realized that okay ways you can actually help you signal when you're approaching when there is big cameras so that you don't get caught and i wasn't using ways as of that time i was using the normal google this thing or now I use ways, I'm more careful, but those tickets have already come, I've already incurred those tickets before I gave myself brain. And they gave me those tickets, like it's like that Monday to Friday that I walked, I wasn't even watching my speed. It just gave me back to back, 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 back like that. So that's my second stupid bill that I've been killed in the UK. The third one is so when you start driving, there are many rules you should follow. Read, study, and practice before you get on the road. I did a bit of it, but I was too confident in myself that she was just to move and I've been moving. Oh, it's loud now. Yeah. Penalty charge notices. That's, um, yeah, parking in the wrong place. So sometimes you want to take a risk and say you want to park somewhere and quickly go and do something. Before you do like this and do like this, come on, I've already put it on your car. And I have like five of this one. So all these are like direct debits on my car. So those are the bills that you killed. So share in the comment section what other what what crazy bill has come your way? What bill are you currently paying in the UK that is stressing you, that is irritating you? And you wish, oh, I could have done better if I was more careful, this wouldn't have happened. You understand what kind of thing? Please share because you never can tell who is going to watch it and be grateful that they did. Share in the comment section. Let's hear you. Let's hear your experiences. That's mine. And when I start to calculate the bill that I have right now, it's close to 3,000. It's close to 2,000 plus pounds. Yeah. That I'm paying right now. So the direct debit is like. 10 pounds 15 pounds on my card on each of the programs so yeah and there's another one that one is on my insurance i was reversing and then i'm skipping around into someone that one let me share that one with you guys so i went to work on my way back the man was wrongly parked i didn't see the car it was in my blind spot so i ran into it a bit a bit. I said, pity I did not have a picture because I didn't know it was going to get this bad. And then the lady just went straight to my insurance and reported that I said it was a major accident and the car was really bashed beyond repair. In fact, she called the car accidented. I tried to talk to her. Like, this thing, me in Niger, where I come from, if you pour out water, it's going to pop out because if you lose the dent, if you pour water on this thing, it's going to come back up. You don't even need to go here. That's why you need to try as much as possible to avoid any mistake whatsoever as much as possible that you can avoid because 
if you do not, these people, they, are, they don't pardon, they don't listen, they don't even, oh, I'm sorry, please help me, I've not eaten since morning. If you owe them, you will pay. They don't joke with their money. You will pay their money to the last couple. And their citizens are like that. They don't pardon people. How can you call a dent an accidented car? How can you call a dent write off? She carried this car, reported to the insurance company, and said the car was a write off. And these people practically changed half of the car, half of the bumper. They took out the old bumper and put a brand new bumper there. Why? Would you do that? It was just a dent. These dents that even take you to Mr. in Ikeja, Allen, Niolowu, in Olowu, he will do it for me for, for 500 naira. They now went and removed the old car. And it is not a, it's not a fairly used car. This is a brand new car that she bought here over. I don't know, my that one has not come yet because until my next year insurance, I don't know what is going to be on that insurance. So I say I came into the country in novice and I'm grateful, I'm learning every day. What's just sad is all of this happened in a time frame of two months. It was too much for me. It happened. In fact, at some point, I was depressed. I was depressed because I'm like, all my money will be going back to debt. Is this a setup or something? Well, no, it wasn't a setup. It was my mistake. It was me not really, really, really taking note of important things in the system and not being careful. I was still living with my Nigerian mentality on a lot of things and it has affected me right now and I'm stuck with bills that I might be living with for a very long time. So guys, for you guys that are just coming in, I hope you get to see this video and know how to start asking a lot of questions, do a lot of proper finding. Don't just believe that I can just jump on the road and start driving. There are a lot of steps that you need to take even if you have 15 years experience in Nigeria. When you get here, almost you learn now. I just finished my theory test which I passed and I'm preparing for my driving test now. I had to get a tutor that will be giving me at least 5 to 6 classes before I go for that exam. I cannot just jump on the road and say because I have been driving. I've been driving with my international driver's license but it's not enough. You will still have to do learner's thing from the beginning. You will still have to enter that car that has learner on top and bring yourself down and humble your James Bond. The conqueror, the lion, the humble it and learn driving from the scratch. So you won't go and run into another vehicle or jump in a lane you're not supposed to jump into. So guys, I just thought I'd come here to share and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping I'm able to keep up with the content because now I'm done with school. So let's see how far life, life takes us. There are a lot of things that have been going on I would really love to share with you guys. But for now, these bills, I'm like, no, I have to come and talk about it. When I can't take the papers, I'm like, before some other people fall victim, let me come and tell you about it. Alright guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!